journey to the Subnibian Zone. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. I think I'm getting the feel of it. That was close. Whoa, sorry, Turkey. Oh, we're getting used to the controls of this new toy of ours. Whoa. Oh, it may be only the size of a thumb, but this mini rocket jet has huge flight capability, Martin. Oh, yeah. Whoa, loose on the loose. Whoa. When we get miniaturized, there are always unexpected obstacles. But the opportunities can blast us straight to the stratosphere. Who else has a chance to miniaturize and see the birth of a snowflake up close? A cloud? And us! That sounds like a creature mission to me. Koki, Aviva! We're heading up to the clouds! Good, but remember, no dilly-dallying. This is our 34th adventure mission in a row, and I am ready for that vacation! No problem. Just a quick trip to the clouds, and we'll be right back. Quick trip? I've heard that before! Don't worry, this won't take long. Oof. We've got liftoff! Woohoo! Great! We're in the cloud! Tiny little water droplets and dust. And if they collide, wait, hold it, hold it, and... There! That droplet! It froze into an ice crystal! Hey, wait up! You can't outfall us, ice crystals. Yeah, we fall at least twice every adventure! Look! It's changing! Oh, yes! Woohoo! A snowflake is born. I've always wanted to see a snowflake being born. And I've always wanted to ride one. Woohoo! Oh, what a cool snowflake design. When you see them up close, every single snowflake has its own shape. Then they need their own name. I'll call you Chili. You are definitely Icer. Oh, and Freezy. And a, a snowman? Frosty. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely cold. Uh-oh, they don't like warm hugs. Ah, whoa! <gasps> you killed Freezy. Sorry, Freezy. Oh. Hang on, turbo engaged. I knew a fall was coming. Please land in soft snow, please land in soft snow. <gasps> I still don't see them. Well, they're up there somewhere. Well, all I see is snowflakes. Oh. <laughs> ah. Please land in soft snow, please. <gasps> no, 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 no. <laughs> gotcha. <gasps> Weird snowflake. Ah, stop this thing! I can't! The flight module malfunctioned. That's because it's gone! We're heading for a crash landing! Deploy emergency parachute! Oh! Oh, too late. Well, at least we landed in soft snow. Freezing cold, but soft. <laughs> yeah. But I think Jimmy just swallowed the flight module. Ah, we're grounded. Good thing Aviva added ground gear. <laughs> Great, then let's get back to the Tortuga. They'll be waiting for <gasps> a meadow vole. Kind of like a mouse, but different. Shorter tail. A little like a mole, but different. Small paws. 100% vole. And pretty roly-poly. Hey, I'll call you Rolo. But what are you doing out and about? It's super cold out. Way below freezing. You should be hibernating or something. Yeah, sleeping through the winter. Like groundhogs and bats and hedgehogs. Winter's harsh. Freezing temperatures, food scarce, no leaves, no berries. A little guy like you could die out here. Rolo? Wait, hold up. Are you okay? We can't let anything happen to that little vole. 
Let's go. Oh, it shouldn't take them this long. You know those Krat brothers always getting uh. caught up in something. Speaking of caught, I got something caught in my teeth. Anyway, I'm not waiting around for them out there. I never was a big fan of winter. In fact, if I were an animal, I'd be a bird and fly south to warm weather during the winter time. Not me. I'd be a black bear and sleep through the winter, slow down the old heartbeat and body temp, and hibernate. <sighs> no way. I love the snow. I'd stay active. I'd be a lynx, put on a warm coat and snowshoes, and get out there. Ah, south for the winter. That'd be a good way to spend my vacation. A nice, warm beach. Hibernate on a beach? I have no problem with that. If I could just get this thing out of my teeth. Isn't anybody just a little worried about what happened to those guys? Maybe she's got brain freeze and isn't thinking straight. Well, if she doesn't get somewhere warm fast, her whole body will freeze. What? Oh no, that's ice cold snow and she walked right into it. We gotta get her out of here. But go down in that snow, are you kidding me? Our rocket jet could get stuck under all that snow. So could Rolo. We gotta go. Rolo, buddy, we're coming. Ah! Ah! Okay, we must be under at least 20 centimeters of snow down here. I got blankets. Yeah, gotta bundle up. Listen, Roland, you gotta get out of this deep freeze. Yeah, you can come back to the Tortuga, it's warm there, and we'll help you figure out how to get wherever you're going. Whew, a little warm in here, isn't it? Yeah, it is kind of warm. But there's snow all around us. It should be freezing. <gasps> I'm burning up! <gasps> what? It's warmer down here than it was up there. Warm gear off! <sighs> that, that's better. Woo! Yeah, but what's with the warmth down here? What's with <gasps> the voles down here? Whoa, it's a whole colony of them living in a snow cave. <laughs> Martin, do you realize where we are? Do you realize where we are? The, the Subnivian zone. zone! A secret creature world under the snow, where it's warmer than up above. Because the snow is like a giant blanket holding in the Earth's heat. So even if it's super cold, like 50 degrees below zero up there, under the snow, it stays much warmer, right around zero degrees all the time. Cozy, right, Rolo? Wait! Rolo, wait for us! Whoa, whoa! Sorry, buddy! Watch the bull traffic, bro! Is that what you call rest and relaxation? Yep. Rest and relaxation doesn't involve running around like crazy. I thought you wanted to rest on a beach. I do, and I'm an engineer, so I'm going to bring the beach to me with this. Ta-da! The Insta Beach Heat Amplifier. Did someone say beach? See, the solar panels collect the sun's rays, amplify the heat, and make a beam of warm weather. It's an instant beach vacation. I'll get the sand. If those crap brothers want to be late, we'll just start our vacation without them. Where is she going? Who knows? Uh -uh. Coming through. Hey, I'm driving here! Left side! Look out! Whoa! Whoo! Made it! Oh, that's the end of the line. Hey, what's she up to now? Hey, watch where you're going, pal. Chris? Chris! Rolo, you're a mama! Oh, those babies are so cute! Well, except that one. Hey, shh, they're sleeping. Creature pod ringers off. We don't want to wake these guys up. Ringer off. Aw, bath before bed? Good idea. 
I can't believe it. Babies under the snow while it's still winter time? Most animals wait until spring to have their babies. But because of the cozy Subnivian zone, foals can keep having babies even in the winter. That's the power of the Subnivian zone. And the voles sure know how to use it. Whoa! What? Whoa! Oof. Aw, no fair. <laughs> they also know who's a baby vole and who's not. Nothing. Huh. Should I be worried? Or are they ignoring me because they found some cool creature? Aviva? Jimmy? Out here! Huh? Hi, Koki. Another cool drink, please, Jimmy. My pleasure. See? It's warm in here, all right. Heat melts snow back to water. It's a snow-free zone. I hate to disturb your beach vacation, but Chris and Martin aren't answering the creature pods. Koki, I know what's going to happen. We'll do this big search and then find out that they were chasing a creature and having a great time. Guaranteed. <gasps> Got it! Got what? The thing that was stuck in my teeth. It's a... Uh... A rocket jet flight module? What? I thought that was a pretty yucky snowflake I caught in my mouth. I just didn't know it was really the mini rocket jet. I spit it right out. Oh. Okay, well, the rocket jet has ground gear, so Chris and Martin may be somewhere out there in the snow, but they're not stranded. They're probably fine. We better go out there and have a look, just in case. Aren't you coming? Well, someone's got to watch the beach. Don't overheat. <laughs> hey. Woohoo! Right behind you, Rolo. Man, I could hang out in the Subnivian Zone forever. Yeah, this is like a winter paradise. Warm, cozy, plenty to eat. Wait, there's nothing to eat. Where's the food down here anyway? Snow burger? Snow dogs? Snow on the cob! Kinda bland. Could use mustard. Hey, bark! That's her lunch. They just feed on little trees and bushes that grow right through the snow. Ugh, I'd rather stick to snow burgers. This is genius. The voles don't even have to leave the comfort of the Subnivian Zone to eat. And it's that nutritious cambium layer that they're after. Bark, roots, it's all down here for these little plant eaters. Okay, it's official. This is a winter paradise. A whole world we never even knew existed right under our feet. <laughs> <laughs> Koki, finding a couple of mini crap brothers in a rocket jet out here is gonna be like finding a... A what? I don't know. Like finding a... A viva look in the willow thicket. A red box. What does he hear? of small mousy thing. <gasps> Wait, I just realized what finding the mini crap bros in a rocket jet out here would be like. What? Like finding a small mousy thing in a giant field of snow. Exactly, and that red box is finding and eating small mousy things. With a pretty impressive technique. Crap brothers, come in, answer your phone. We've got to find them fast, but they could be anywhere. What about a fox creature power suit? There's no time. But I have another idea. Hurry! <gasps> wow, those were some serious avalanches. Yeah, where'd they come from anyway? Uh-oh, this paradise just became a nightmare. Predators know about the Subnivian Zone too. This is crazy. You could be having a peaceful time down here, then boom, it's all over. I know, anything could be listening from up there. Listening for the voles skittling around and chewing. 
As long as no one makes any sudden loud noises, we should be fine. Uh. Shh. Ah. Uh. Shh. Choo! 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 Oops. Hopefully nobody heard that. But let's get out of here anyway. Quietly, Martin. Drive quietly. We'll be back soon, Jimmy. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> Using the heat amplifier was a great idea, Viva. Thanks. If they're hidden somewhere in all of this snow, we'll find them. Let's just hope we're not too late. You know, Martin, did you ever get the feeling that voles are the main winter food for lots of predators? Oh, yeah. Like, the voles couldn't survive winter without the Subnivian Zone, and the foxes, weasels, owls, coyotes, and bobcats couldn't survive winter without the voles. Oh, great. Everyone's trying to eat us. Oh, uh, hey, look at the time. I uh, wouldn't want to overstay our welcome in Volville. Nope, wouldn't want to do that. We'll see you, Rolo. It's been fun. Quick, let's get out of here, bro. Oof. Huh? Where'd that snowbank come from? <gasps> oh, uh, hi. You're not a snowbank, are you? You're an ermine! Rolo, run! These weasels are like furry snakes on legs. They're burrow and tunnel hunting specialists built for bending and twisting in tight spaces. Tell me about it and hang on. Whoa! Rocket Jet to Tortuga, come in. Well, well, it's about time. Where are you guys? We're being chased by a weasel under the snow. Or not. There they are. It worked. We found you. And saved you, even though we shouldn't have. We've been calling you forever. Uh, our ringers were off. Yeah, we kind of lost track of time. Sorry. No problem, thanks to my heat amplifier machine. See, it took a while, but we found you under all that snow. Oh, no. Oh, yes, we did. We mean, oh, no, you destroyed the Subnivian Zone. Subnivian who? The Subnivian Zone, the space under the snow cover. All the voles depend on it to keep them warm and survive in the winter. Oh no, Rolo's nest. Her babies, they're shivering. They're too cold. Oh no, we're so sorry, little voles. We didn't know. Oh, we've got to save these voles. And the only way to do that is to restore the Subnivian Zone, fast. But there's no snow coming in for days. We can't just make snow. Or can we? Water all set. Aviva? Thanks, Jimmy. Aqua misting nozzle ready. We're good to go, guys. Ha! I love it when we get to use one of my favorite creature powers of all. Thanks to one of my favorite creature pals of all. Incoming! Torpedo the Peregrine Falcon. To the clouds! Peregrine Falcon speed! Got it! To, to the, the Subnivian, Subnivian Zone, Zone rescue. rescue! For the voles and all the creatures that depend on it. Jimmy, turn on the water. Let's hope this works. Come on, freeze, freeze, freeze. All right, yes, snow. Woohoo, here comes the snow. Yeah, the snow is coming, the snow is coming. All right, the snow is coming. You guys don't need this anymore. Not with the warmth and power of the Subnivian Zone. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Yeah! And, yep, 
15 centimeters, a solid warm blanket of snow. The Subnivian Zone is restored. Sorry we messed up your secret world, Rolo. I had no idea so much was going on down there. You voles really are incredible. I mean, finding such an amazing way to survive through the winter. Yeah, and doing it so well that lots of bigger predators wouldn't even be able to make it through the winter if it weren't for you. Well, Jimmy wouldn't be able to make it through the winter if it weren't for Aviva. What? <laughs> I think he needs your heat amplifier. Coming up, Jimmy. <laughs> ah, that's better. Relax, so Jimmy. Time for that beach vacation. See you later, buddy. We're heading to the beach. Bye! Bye. Go wild, wild, wild crabs! Octopus Wild Craticus. Nothing like a nice sunny day in the Arctic to air out the creature power suits. Hey, Aviva, how many animals have you programmed for these anyway? Mm, I don't know. A lot. I'll check it out for you, Jimmy Z. Let's see. Polar bears, octopuses, honey badgers. Cool. Yeah, but wait till you see my new invention, the Octopod. I'm still working on it, but with this creature-inspired super sub, the bros will be able to get some real work done. Oh, yeah! Woohoo! Oh -ho! What are you doing with my manta riders? We just invented a new extreme sport, manta boarding. They're designed for water travel, not flying over rails. Well, I happen to be an ace manta rider, so there's nothing to worry about. Famous last words. Oh yeah? Watch this. Whoa! Martin, slow down. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. Oh no! Nice landing, bro. Have you got my creature power suits? Uh, no, but I did find a giant Pacific octopus. Hey, he only has seven arms. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna call him. Seven. Hey, Seven. Not one of your wilder names, bro, but hey, at least we know you can count. Brothers Krat, I'm sure Seven is very nice, but the suits are gone. Don't worry, Aviva, I'll find them. Hang on, Seven. They got sucked down by the current. Oh, and I lost seven, too. I'm so sorry, Aviva. It took me 11 months, 14 days, and three hours to develop that technology. They're prototypes. That means they're the only ones. Don't worry, Aviva. We'll just grab our scuba gear and... No, we can use the octopod. It's not finished yet, but it'll take us down further and fight the water currents. We've got to get my suits back. To the creature power suit rescue! Yeah! yeah. Okay, the suits will be carried by the currents, which are moving northeast. Let's head northeast, Aviva. You got it, Chris. See the suits, Martin? Oh, I don't see any sign of them. Oh, I'm so sorry, Aviva. 
I'll forgive you, Ace Manta Rider, when you find my creature power suits. Hey, it looks like we have a giant Pacific octopus coming our way. Oh yeah, I see him too. Hey, I think it's Seven. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, not seven. But talk about a creature with amazing creature powers. Giant Pacifics are like a team of superheroes all rolled into one. They have escape tactics. Amazing stretching abilities. And they're super smart. But does he have the power to find my suits? I'll ask him. Hey, guy, what's up? Whoa! He's thinking, I'm out of here, using jet propulsion. Hey, he must be trying to escape from a predator. I'm a big fan of jet propulsion. How does an octopus use it? Okay, water goes up into his head and then into a tube. The tube has muscles at the top of it, which quickly squeezes water out the hole in the back. And that shoots the octopus forward at about 40 kilometers per hour. It's like having a jet engine right in your head. Super cool. Chris, take over driving. I'm gonna add jet propulsion into the octopod movement system. If I fasten this tubing into the intake valve over here, it'll run water into the auto pump. That'll squeeze it through this tube. It just might work. If anyone can do it, you can, Aviva. <gasps> you were right, Chris. He was escaping the predator. That great white shark. The Octo just said, eat this, and shot a cloud of ink into the Great White's face to mask his escape. He didn't only take off to escape. His ink has chemicals that are poisonous, even to him. Oh, it did a super job of irritating the shark's eyes so the octopus could get away. Oh, add an ink defense to the octopod of Eva. Oh yeah, we need an ink defense. How's that gonna help us find the suits? The octopus has it for a reason, so the octopod should too. It worked great for him because the shark is gone. I spoke too soon. <laughs> the shark must think we're an octopus. He's chewing on us. Oh no, Ugh. he might bite through the power line. Then we're going down with no way up. No better time to test my jet propulsion feature than now. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Ink Defense is next. And I have just the thing to help me add it to the octopod. Ta-da! I brought a celery and seaweed shake in case I wanted a snack. Ah. Seaweed Ink Defense. What a great idea. Healthy, not harmful. Exactly. Do you see any sign of the suits, Martin? Hmm, I don't see them, but... <gasps> I think I see seven. Oh, this guy must really like me. Or the octopod looks like his mom. Oh, I see thousands of suckers. Smart eyes darting around. Oh, wait, it's not seven. This guy has a face full of whiskers and giant tusks. What? Whoa. <clears throat> ha, we discovered a new type of octopus. It's got tusks and whiskers. He's cleaning the window. <laughs> this is unknown to science. I gotta get a picture for my life list. Oh no, all I got was an arm. Uh-oh, he's not happy. I guess he doesn't like his picture taken. Those tusks are gonna rip right through the octopod. Aviv, is that ink defense ready? I don't know. But let's give it a seaweed squirt. Wait, no, it'll chase him away. We can't let this guy out of our sights. But my octopod can't withstand a blow from those tusks. Ink defense, don't fail me now. What? But it's a new species. Oh, amazing ink shot, Aviva. It's tasty too. 
and it just chased away a new species of octopus unknown to the world. We've got to go after it. I think it went that way. So we are too! Oh, Chris is right. We've never seen anything like it. So we've got to find it. Hey, Koki, we need an ID on a strange octopus. It's got whiskers and tusks. I've been checking it out, but can't find any octopus with those bizarre features. Sorry, guys. Don't be sorry, Koki. We just discovered a never-before-documented octopus. We'll call it Octopus Wild Craticus. <gasps> or Octopus Martin Craticus. Oh, Octopus Wild Craticus works too. Hey, nobody believed it when the golden bamboo lemur was recently discovered, but it was. Living secretly in the Madagascar rainforest could be the same with the octo walrus. This is our chance to discover a type of animal no one knows about and prove it to the world. Um, guys, did you forget that the reason we're at the bottom of the sea is to find the creature power suits? Hey, I know it's important, Aviva, but finding a new species is a once in a lifetime chance. The suits can sit around for a while. Except for one problem. They can't last long in seawater and high pressure. It's sensitive technology. They need proper care. Martin lost the suits a kiss. What do you think? Well, uh, I agree with both of you. <laughs> hey, the suits and the octowalrus are both heading to the sea bottom. So why don't we just go down there? I have an idea. There are a few water caves ahead. We can search through the cracks and crevices with the manta riders. Octopuses love to hide out in places like that. Uh, I mean, the creature power suits might be stuck on a rock? The suits mean as much to us as they do to you, Aviva. We'll find them. Promise. Okay, I'll use the suckers on the octopod's arms to stick to the sea bottom in order to stick around. Just like the octopus's powerful suction grip. Okay, we're attached. Be careful, guys. I haven't been this excited since we almost discovered that new tropical slug. Turned out to be an old piece of gum, but it was fun while it lasted. Hey, this water cave looks like a good place for an octo walrus to hide. Hmm, maybe he's, I mean, the suits are in the cave. I saw that wink, Chris. Oh. Discover another new species? I don't know, but I think he discovered a new snack. Us! Aviva, open the portal! A walrus shark! I'm in creature adventure heaven! Uh-oh. Hold on, guys. I'm getting us out of here. Octo jet propulsion! I just received a signal that you guys were in a collision! You bet we were. Trying to get away from an octo walrus shark. It chewed an arm right off my octopod. Oh, you might want to design an arm regeneration feature, Aviva. Arm regeneration? You mean when a predator bites off an octopus's arm, it grows back? Yeah, in three months, the octopus has a brand new arm. Wow, we're going to need every arm to find the creature power suits, and no arm munching new species is going to stop me. All right, let's go. Octo Walrus Shark, here we come. <laughs> Chris, you're driving like a loony. 
Hey, Aviva, you sure designed squishy seatbelts on this thing. They feel like octopus arms. Seven? Eight. I like eight, but I miss seven. Whew, this guy must have floated in through the hole and used his camouflage to fit right in with the color of the chair. It's so cool how the color of an octopus changes in seconds. How does it do that? With small, stretchy colored sacs called chromatophores that change when it crawls along the surface. The tiniest piece of skin can have hundreds of chromatophores in them. Cool! I can add a camouflage feature to the outer panels of the octopod. Now, if only I could find my suits that easily. <gasps> uh oh, guys. I see a huge whale coming towards us. I hope it doesn't eat octopods. It's a bowhead whale. Don't worry, Aviva. They just eat small fish and plankton. Did you see that? What? That green and blue blast of light! I'd know that glow anywhere. It's my creature power suit's activating. Activating? I think Aviva's been underwater too long, Chris. No, I'm fine. I know what I saw. Out of the way, Chris. We've got to head towards that glow. Aviva, you might think you saw a glow of green and blue light, but you know, it was probably just some underwater plankton. <gasps> ah! Ah! It's a sea monster! It's a new species! Unbelievable! This underwater trench is full of bizarre new creatures. Move over, Jacques Cousteau. Chris Kratz heading for the record books. Now hang on, pal. Just let me get some footage. The sea monster has seven arms. <gasps> oh no, it's seven! But how? I don't know, Martin, but he just caught an act of mackerel. I knew it! That power glow is pure Aviva. And you guys say I didn't see it? So that's what happened. Seven was tangled up in the power suits all along. First, he must have touched a walrus. Then a shark. Then a bowhead whale. And finally, an Akka mackerel. So the octo walrus, octo shark, and octo whale weren't new species at all. Sorry, Chris. Now we know that Seven was the sea monster all along because he kept activating every time he touched another animal. I have an idea that just might get everything back to normal, but we'll have to use all of our Octo powers. It could be the only chance we have to save my suits. Without them, you'll never run with a cheetah, dive with a dolphin, or climb with a koala ever again. Aviva's right. To the creature rescue! Oh no you don't. Arm regeneration! I'm gonna need all my Octo Strength for this. Gotcha! Okay, guys, no hurry! Look, the deactivation button. Oh, great. Of course, it has to be right between a swarm of arms. Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Those are my arms, not Seven's. Retreat! Octopus Ink Defense! This is tougher than I thought. Activating Octopus Camouflage. Perfect, he doesn't see us. Remember guys, all you gotta do is touch that deactivation button when you get close enough. Easy for her to say. Okay, Martin, you lost the suits, so I'm sending you in to deactivate. What? I said I was sorry. <laughs> Good luck, bro. And Chris, you'll be the decoy. The decoy? As in, you who come after me, giant sea monster decoy? That's right, Chris. Let's find a new species of kiss. Closer. Closer. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Chris, decoy. Seven. Over here, buddy. Nice, uh, teeth. Hurry, Martin, while he's distracted. Just a little closer. Ugh, missed. Ah, uh, Aviva, 
Any time now! Hold on, Chris. Jet propulsion! Uh-oh. I'm running out of octopus tricks. I've used the ink defense, arm regeneration, camouflage, and jet propulsion. We just can't get close enough. Use all the features at once. You can do it, Aviva! Okay, Octopod. Don't fail me now. So, you want to play hardball, do you, Mr. Monster? Check out these Octo moves. Ink defense! Camouflage power! Arm power! I've got a clear shot, quick! Closer! I can't hold it much longer! Get ready! This is it! And jet propulsion power! Martin, deactivate! Got it! Got it! Deactivate! Got it! Yes! It worked! Woo! The, the suits, suits are, are safe. safe! And Seven's back to normal. Sorry, Seven, but those are ours. And you know what? Octopus features really are like superhero powers. Mission accomplished. <sighs> My suits are back where they belong. And I officially forgive you, Ace Manta Rider. Oh, thanks, Aviva. And Seven's back to being his old self. Yeah, even if I didn't discover a new species, it's great to have you back, buddy. <gasps> Wait a minute. What is Seven sitting on? Oh, it's an octopus fossil. Do you know how rare this is? Probably created before the dinosaurs. Well, bro, it looks like you didn't discover a cool new species, but you found a cool old fossil. Sweet! And Aviva's octopod now has jet propulsion and ink cloaking. Don't forget about camouflage and arm regeneration. And it can juggle crap, brothers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! The octopus fossil! Rev up the octopod, Aviva! We're going back down! <laughs> <laughs> Go wild, wild, wild friends! Polar bears don't dance. Whoa! You catch that trick or what? Nice move! Just keep your eye out for hungry polar bears. They're ready to munch on anything after eight months of hibernation. Uh, I'm not worried. You will be if you come face to face with the most carnivorous bear on the planet. Nothing personal, bro, but you are boarding like a total newbie. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm a little worried. Kick it, bro! A polar bear can hit a charge of 48 kilometers per hour. Yeah, I see that. And they've got the longest legs in the bear world. And gaining! Whoa, we've got a monster drop coming up, bro. Take out this big air! Right behind you, Chris! Oh, that's no newbie move. <laughs> <laughs> nice face plant, bro. <laughs> nice dance moves. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get you back. What? Me worry? <laughs> Whoa, she's hunting. She knows her prey needs to surface to breathe, so she lies in wait, ambush style, for what's swimming below to pop up. Could be a beluga whale, or a seal. Or maybe... I think the crew might want to see this. Deploy fly cam. Hmm. A walrus! <laughs> 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 Martin usually wears blue, but he looks pretty good in green. <laughs> if the Crap Rose had a comedy show, I'd totally watch it. I think we just did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we have a lock on their coordinates, Koki? Yup. 66 degrees north, 65 degrees west. Now, it looks like there's a hectic blizzard to the west, but the bros are all clear. Ready for liftoff, Timmy Z? 
Not yet. The joystick is stuck! Oh, so that's where it went. Teleportation delivery is out of here. Polar bears need to be patient and focused. Unlike you, Martin. But they can wait for hours for their prey to pop up. What do you think? Oh, wait's over. Huh? What's that? Hey guys, did you get the package? Yeah, but your delivery was a little off. <laughs> nice reaction time, dude! <laughs> Our weak picker won! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay, whenever you're ready, I've modified your creature power suits for Arctic survival. You know the drill? Touch the animal, hit the button, and listo, you've got creature power. What? I was almost chewed by a polar bear, and now I have to touch one to activate my suit? <laughs> Ciao. Ah, she's parking her cub, telling him to stay behind while she hunts. Better listen, Poby. Poby? Yeah, Poby. Polar bear, Poby. They don't see me. My iceberg disguise is working. Somebody pinch me. Ow! I didn't mean literally. Well, it looks like the Brainless Brothers have a dancing bear. <laughs> Not for long. Look at that. She blends right into the ice and snow. With that Arctic camouflage, the walrus don't even see her. Oh, it just gets better. Oh, the more dancing varmints, the merrier. Oh, the crowd's gonna love it. And I, Zach Varmitech, will be so rich, it'll make your head spin. Hey, I didn't mean literally. Now, go catch those poppies. Whoa, she's attacking. The walrus can hardly move up here. They're like big blubbery caterpillars. Made it! Barely! The bear is in control on land, and the walrus rules the water. Two natural enemies. But what would happen if one caught the other on its own turf? <laughs> well, say bye bye to your mommies. <laughs> A zack attack! They snatched them right from under our noses. You don't steal baby animals from their moms. What's he gonna do to them? Goodbye! Never gonna see you again! Zack's nastier than an Arctic blizzard. How are we supposed to catch that turbo boosted speedboat? Aha! By moving the way the creatures move. Yes, running like a polar bear. Swimming like a walrus. We've got to activate our uh, creature power suits. That's one way to do it. Sweet walrus power. What a rip. How am I supposed to touch a bear who wants to eat me? Your problem, not mine, bro. Gotta go. Hang on, bear. I'm on my way. Okay, it's a double cub napping. This will put our inventions to the test. Keep your eyes on those animals and get ready to invent. This is Walrus World. Guys, I could use a little help figuring out how to move down here. Whoa. Uh, uh. Now I get it. Power comes from the back flippers. The back flipper action propels the walrus. Whoa! Oh. Note to self. Learn to steer. Oh. That's face plan numero dos, MK. <laughs> I know. For this crazy terrain, I need some long legs and claws like she's got. Of course, side flippers steer. Flippers are fingers with webbing between them. That's the inside scoop on flipper power. Have flippers, we'll travel. Okay, walrus, let's go save your calf. If I could just touch her, it'd activate my suit and I'd have polar bear power too. 
great idea. With that nose, your cub could be three kilometers away, and you'd still be able to smell him. Smell your cub? Oh, no, you don't, Sasquatch. My cologne will do the trick. That should mess up your mommy's smeller. Here's my chance to be the bear. <gasps> Just kidding. Just kidding. <gasps> now you two, let me see you dance. Come on. Chris, if we shortcut across the ice, we can head Zach off at the pass. Flippers for water, legs for land. To, to the, the creature rescue! Woo! I need claws! <laughs> I programmed claws, and just like the bottom of the bear's foot pads, I put in these incredible tiny traction bumps. These features give extra grip on slippery ice. If you just touch the bear, MK, you'd have no slip soles Easier too. Easier said than done. Oh. No, Zach's almost in the clear. If he gets to the open sea, we'll never catch him. If you two don't start practicing your dance routines for the show tonight, I'll make a few biogenetic adjustments and force you. Come on, shake those flippers. Come on. Uh. Ah! Ah! Oh! <sighs> Put him on ice. Gotta slow him down with walrus power. Flippers don't fail me now. Tusk time! Huh. Flipper power to the max! You're not going anywhere with those cubs, Zach! Way to go, walrus man! Oh no, they think their kids are in danger from each other. Whoa, it's a rarely seen battle of Arctic Titans. Forget dancing babies. A big battle is much better. All right, the polar bear has the advantage here. Moving really well, like she's dancing on ice. But the walrus is clumsy on land like a giant blubber balloon. With no legs, she's got to drag herself back to the water. Can she make it before the polar bear? Oh! Whoa, now the tables are turned. Even though the polar bear's a good swimmer, the walrus is built for underwater. Down here, the walrus is pure fluid swimming power. With the tusk, she's pulling the bear under. I'll grab the cuff. I've got the cap. Yeah. Get their mothers. I'll distract them. It's all over, Varmatech. Stealing little wild animals, and you think you're the world's greatest mind? More like the world's greatest pain in a bear's behind. What? No, I found these tender little ones and wanted to return them to their families. I was looking all over for you two. What are you talking about? We saw you waving bye-bye with the walrus flipper. No, 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 it was holding my hand. Must have thought I was its mommy. Can somebody get frostbite of the brain? But I am so worried now. You've got to find their mothers. I'll just go look over there. See ya. Hey, where are the moms? Yeah, where are they? Those wild rats can have your stinky kittens. You're the bigger prize, and I've got plans for you. But first, I'm going to trick Chris and Martin and get rid of them forever. <laughs> Chris! I found them! <laughs> Go on to your ma, Poby. I'll hang with you later. Back to where you belong, living free and in the wild. We did it! Yeah. What's going on? Do 
you're so easily fooled. I've got the fighting mommies now. I almost feel bad beating you like this. Almost. <laughs> hey, have an ice time. I lured you into an Arctic storm. <laughs> what? Tell me this is a joke. If it is, I think we're the punchline. Prepare to get sun through. I can't believe the storm moved in so fast. Where are the crab bros? I don't have any visual. What about the mother bear and walrus? We gotta save them too. <laughs> That's the spirit, Sasquatch, but save it for each other. Now, I'll equip you two with titanium battleware, and tonight you'll fight for me at the opening of my Arctic Ice Hotel. I'll be king of the ice world. Take me there. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Don't worry, Bobby. We're gonna make it through this and find your mom. I promise. A few snowflakes can't stop me. Bobby! Aviva, I've got contact with Chris. I'm on my last flipper. I can't dread water much longer. Floating like bobbers? How are they doing that? Pharyngeal throat sacs. Blow them up and you've got a built-in life preserver. Increíble! I need something that can inflate like a balloon in the water. If it's full of air, it'll rise when it's underwater. If I can just integrate this into the walrus power suit programming, it just might keep Chris afloat. Bobby! Why'd you have to be so white? Darn camouflage. I need your polar bear power, now! The strength of a polar bear with mighty claws to boot! For no slip power! It worked! Uh-oh. Energizing, hurry! Zap it! Keep breathing, walrus! Got it! Yes! A built-in life preserver! Riding out the storm walrus style! Uh-oh! Ah! Oh, we just lost all communication with them. Let's hope their creature powers see them through. But Zack still has the moms. Send the alert to the Wild Kratz kids. Our eyes and ears are around the world. Oh, hey, we got something from Nua. Hey, Cookie, Zack's just passing my village. He must be heading to the big glacier. 68 north, 65 west. Perfecto! I gotta get out there. Oh, it worked! Storm's over, and I'm still floating. Woohoo! That was a wild ride! I hope Martin's okay. Martin, where are you, bro? Love the polar bear fur, Poby. Kept his warm and toasty down to 30 degrees below zero. Martin! Huh? Snow camo! Look, I got polar bear powers. Nice! Ow! Hey, we've still got some creatures to rescue. And now I bring you the spectacle of the century. There will be a blood-curdling cage battle between the scary Sasquatch and the man-eating seal thingy. Try polar bear and walrus? Not gonna happen. Crap, bros. Zach's got the moms and he's making them fight. I'm sending the GPS points. Hurry. Let's go. Flippers for water. Legs for land. Saving the planet with creature power! This place is an icy maze. Run! I can't. 
can't. They're great for underwater, but flippers don't run. I need to deactivate. Oh no, it's jammed. Rush, smash, get dry. Rush, smash, get dry. Jeez, bro, talk about pulling your weight. Take a right, I mean a left. Faster, faster. I'm going as fast as I can. Huh? Uh oh. Rush, smash, destroy. Rush, smash, destroy. Smash, destroy. Smash. Hey, Chris, wanna go bowling? Ha! It'll be a ball. <laughs> They don't call me Bowler Bear for nothing. Bowler Bear, Bowler Bear. Oh no! Are you ready to battle? We're too late. Not if you're riding this. Oh, right, Aviva. Hey. Vamos, I've got an idea. And right after the fight, I'll be signing autographs at the frozen yogurt stand. Let the fight begin. Fight the walrus, tusk the bear, fight, fight, fight! What? Why are you dancing? You're supposed to be enemies! Hey, Zach, didn't you know? Polar bears don't dance, and walrus don't rock and roll, but we do! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> the switcheroo works! The real polar bear and walrus should be living free and in the wild. Uh, so, you want to be part of my show? Losers! Get back here! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Sit, doggy. Sit. Nice ceiling. Oh. 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 <laughs> no. oh. Oh. I ruined my chance to be king of the ice You'll pay for this, you wild rat. <laughs> now that's a show we'll never forget. Swim back to where you belong, buddy. The walrus's water world. I told you I'd get you back to Mom, Poby. Patrolling the land of ice and snow. Mission accomplished. Uh, there's one little problem. My suit is still jammed. Oh, I can fix that. Uh, hang on, Aviva. Allow me. Ah! Cold, cold. <laughs> gotcha again. And the winner is me. <laughs> Missed. No, I didn't. I told you I'd get you back. Go wild, wild, wild rats! Whale of a squid. Navigation systems online. Viewing port activated. All right, let's take this new Amphisa for a test drive. This is an awesome sub. It's so maneuverable. And what a view. You can see everything going on all around us. And who knows what's happening down there in the depths. 
there's the question. Can this sub go deep enough to find out? Whoa, incoming! Arrow squid, and they're feeding on little amphipods, tiny microscopic animals floating in the water. Whoa, these squid are squishy <laughs> and slimy. Oh, and their suction cups kind of tickle. <laughs> Hey, Aviva, I love this exploration valve feature. <laughs> oh, yeah, this amphisub rocks the deep sea. Fantastico. Got one more thing for the sub before you deep dive. Just hang out there until I can finish up this robot arm. Whew, where's my mango juice? Oh, in the fridge. Might as well test the robot arm. Guys, this robot arm is gonna be a great add-on to the sub. Perfect for deep sea discovery. I like these exploration valves better. I can pet wild squid pets. This is Squiddo, Squidtacular, Squidsicle. <laughs> Martin, are you squidding me? <laughs> squidding me. Good one, Chris. There's no way you can come up with names for a thousand squids. We'll see. This little guy is, ah, he nipped me. Your fangs. Whoa. Check that. Make it beaks. A squid has a beak like a parrot. Whoa. Aviva, are you sure this sub has what it takes to take on the mystery of the deep sea? I mean, really deep sea. Well, that's what I'm designing it for. Small squid attacks are one thing, but what about bigger ones? Or the water pressure? I know, the deep sea is harder to explore than outer space. I'm working on it. We need a sub that can go as deep as a sperm whale and keep up with him. Nobody has ever followed a sperm whale into the deep before. I love the challenge, but it might not be something I can crack in a day. Not unless I have some big inspiration. Uh, how about this? Sperm whale at six o'clock! Whoa! Now that's a huge whale. Uh, no, that's a huge whale. Whoa! Mother sperm whale and her calf. Whoa. Huh. Is that big enough inspiration for you, Aviva? Might be. It might be. Whale powers. Let's see, a sperm whale can dive deeper than any other whale. She has flexible ribs that can fold up under intense pressure. And she has a thick layer of fat to keep her warm in the cold, deep waters. I can learn a lot from these whales. This is gonna be the best creature power suit yet. Whoa, what was that? It's coming from the big mama sperm whale's head. Okay, it's true. Sperm whales are the loudest animal in the world. They're echolocating on us. Yeah, that booming sound comes out of her big bumpy head bounces off us, the sound waves travel back to her lower jaw, which takes the sound up to her ear. Then to her brain. That's what you call sonar. And the sperm whale gets a sound picture of us. Or her lunch. She gulped down hundreds in one mouthful. That's like a bathtub full of squid in one bite. And she can eat eight bathtubs full of slimy squid a day. Aw, look how closely the cat follows his mom. He's cute. I'd say looks about a year old. I'd say, looks like a little rascal. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to come up with a funny, playful little name for this guy. Hmm. Can't be too little of a name. He's already as big as a minivan, following a mom who's as big as a school bus. They're heading towards you, Tortuga. Wow, the sperm whale is the largest toothed predator that ever lived on planet Earth. There she blows. <laughs> Sperm whales rule the sea or what? Almost, but not quite. They can get ganged up on by pods of hunting killer whales. Drifting fishing nets called ghost nets tangle them up. And then there are the stories of epic battles with giant squid. 
but no one's ever seen it because they meet in the deep. What's going on up there? The whales are each taking a big breath in through their blowhole. A whale breath is the same amount of air that fills a car. They must be getting ready for a deep dive. Yeah, going deeper looking for bigger squid. Oh, <laughs> hey, we're not a beach ball or a bumper boat. Bumper, that's it, you're Bumper, the newest member of the Wildcrats team. Here we go. Nobody's ever followed hunting sperm whales into the depths. We're with you, Bumper. Okay, Aviva, how deep can this sub go? Deeper than any mobile sub ever created by humans. I hope. Losing all the sun's light at 183 meters. Leaving the ocean sunlit zone. Entering twilight zone. Sub lights on. Oh, <laughs> we're going deeper. Uh, Chris, do you ever get the feeling we're being watched? Sure, the Wildcrats crew is always keeping an eye on us. An eye the size of a basketball? There's only one creature on the planet with an eye this big. A giant squid! Ah, now that's a whale of a squid! Behind your bumper! Oh no! Squid attack! She heard Bumper's distress call. Bumper's mom to the rescue. Whoa, that's gotta be the world's most powerful headbutt. Because the sperm whale has a giant head. Only the blue whales is bigger. This is it, what we've dreamed of seeing. What happens every day where people can't go. The creature battle no one has seen before. I'm on it. Keep with him, Chris. I'm on it. No, oh, we're in it. Whoa. Ugh. Chris, I just discovered something. Giant squid suction cups have serrated cutting teeth. Ah! <laughs> That's enough squid slime for one day. Whoa. Battle between sperm whale and giant squid. We can't miss this. How deep can this sub go? Not any deeper. Sensors indicate you're nearing collapse depth. Collapse step? If you go much deeper, the sub will be crushed like a tin can. Go. Uh-oh. Uh, Chris, we might have to head back. We can't miss this battle. Yeah, but we don't want to get crushed either. The sub controls are acting funny. I have no controls. Must have been lost in battle. We're sinking! meters until collapse depth. 14, 13. Why will the sub collapse if they go deeper? It's the pressure. What pressure? The water pressure. The deeper the sub goes, the more water is on top, the heavier that water gets, pushing in on the sub. That's pressure. If there's too much water weight pushing down on the sub, or pressure, the sub will be crushed. Gotta pull them out of there. Okay, I get it, I get it. I see why it's harder to explore the deep sea than outer space. I wish we'd gone to the moon. The worst part is, we saw the start of the battle between the sperm whale and the giant squid, and we'll never know how it ends. Almost there. Nine meters to collapse depth. Eight, seven, six, gotcha. And going up. Aviva, we've got to get back down there. What? I just pulled you up. But a never before seen wildlife battle is going on down there. And if the mother whale loses, so does our buddy Bumper. But my sub couldn't handle the pressure. How are you going to get down there? Creature, Creature power, power suits. suits. Oh yeah, bring on the creature powers. Okay, I pre-programmed the disc for sperm whale and giant squid, but I haven't run any trials, it's too soon, and I obviously haven't figured out how to deal with the pressure. We'll have to rely on the code found in the whale and squid DNA. What do they always mean, DNA? DNA is the biological code that gives every animal their special features. Every type of animal has their own DNA code hidden in every cell of their body. But how are you going to access the DNA code when you can't even touch the animals? Uh, hello? 
I'm touching a giant squid right now. I was slimed by the giant squid, remember? I'm covered with squid slime. Ah, and I've got a whale tooth. Activate creature power suit. Gotta get to the water. I'm just a blob of jelly with eight arms. Wait a second. Did you say arms? Don't you mean tentacles? Hey, I've got those too. Squids have both arms and tentacles. The eight shorter ones are arms. You can tell because they have suckers all the way down. Oh, so the two longer ones are the tentacles. They only have suckers on the ends. Whoa, that's awesome. Uh, need water to move. Oops. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah! These are the best creature power suits ever! Let's dive! Giant squid, ruler of the deep! Oh, I could eat you right now. I've got teeth. I'm a toothed whale. That's a big head. Tentacle un Oh! Woohoo! Ah! <laughs> Martin, we gotta follow the real sperm whale and giant squid before it's too late. Let's go! How deep can they go in those suits? I admit it. I'm out of my depth when it comes to dealing with the pressure of the deep. Just hope the secrets of the whale and the squid are in the creature power suits. I'll be keeping one giant squid eye on the pressure gauges. We're passing the depth where the sub crumpled. Feeling a little squeeze, but good. How about you, bro? Comfy. Like snoozing in a bed of jelly. How's that comfy? It's a squid thing. Hey! The squid! And the whale! They're still at it! If the whale gets enough of the squid in her mouth, holy calamari! Lunch over! Not so fast. This mollusk monster is getting a grip. Arm slashed on! And remember, those suction cups have cutting edges. Ouch! That's where she got those sucker scars. But with every shake, the squid gets sucked deeper into the whale's mouth. The squid knows better. He's thinking, not gonna let that happen. Ink blast! Oh, whoa, didn't see that coming. Yuck. Listen, that's Bumper. He sounds scared. A goose net! Bumper's mom! The net's dragging her down! Even sperm whales can't go deeper than 1,200 meters. Okay, she can hold her breath for 100 minutes max. We have to save Mom. To the creature rescue! I'm gonna monitor your depth and pressure. You're at 457 meters. The seawater above you is putting 4,700 kilopascals of pressure on you. That's as heavy as wearing a school bus as a hat. You're right. That is a lot of weight. And a lot of pressure. How are you feeling? Actually, okay. So the creature power suits must be working their biological magic. There she is. Wait, but where's Bumper? He was just with us. I'll use my sonar to look for him. It must be that he can't dive any deeper than that. Yeah, he's just a kid. He can't dive as deep as the adults, so he's gotta hang out and wait when his mom dives super deep. I'll keep an eye on him with my sonar, just like a whale would. And speaking of mother sperm whale, she's still sinking. Let's go! All right, bumper's safe. Whoa, there she is. 900 meters and still hanging in. Oh, it's a good thing the sperm whale holds the record as the deepest diving, air-breathing animal. But you're entering the midnight zone. It looks like even a sperm whale can't go deeper than that. Oh, grab her. Ah, gotcha, with my tentacle club. Ah, a 40,000 kilogram sperm whale is really heavy, even underwater. Yes. We're reversing her fall. Hey, and this is another never before seen creature moment. Huh? huh? Squid and whale powers working together. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, better check on Bumper.
A giant squid. Wait, it's a different body shape. Bigger, three meters longer. It's a colossal squid. A newly discovered species. It's after Bumper. I've got to get there first. Go, Chris, go! Oh, but hurry back! I'm running out of squid strength! Oh, we're sinking! Who's gonna get there first? I can't tell. Too close to call. Hurry, Moby Chris! Bumper! Not gonna get there in time! But my sonic boom can! A powerful whale sound! That can stun the squid! off! Uh-oh. Arms off Bumper, but now they're on me! The Colossal Squid has sharp suction cups, too! Got an arm! Oh, but you got nine more! Whoa, and Colossal Squid tentacles have spinning hooks! And they've got me! Ah. But listen, Colossal Squid, and listen close. So what if you've got spinning hooks? So what if you've got the largest eye in the world? As large as a large pizza. You don't scare me. Can you take the shake? Okay then. Barton, no! But Chris, I was just gonna ask you the same thing. Why? Because we're sinking right towards underwater volcanoes and they're active. <sighs> but the squid just chewed off one of my fins. But I'm drifting straight into a pool of bubbling lava. His spinning hooks are shredding my back! A volcano's erupting! Chewing through the glass! <laughs> Giant gas-filled rocks hurtling towards me! <gasps> Giant gas-filled rocks hurtling towards me! Oh, gotcha! Whoa! Go the... Hang on, Mama Whale! Woohoo! Hurry! When he's done destroying my whale suit, he's going to devour me! Uh, excuse me, your colossalness. Uh, don't you know it's not nice to eat creature rescuers? <laughs> ah! <sighs> I got no strength to fight back! She's almost torn through my suit! The sperm whale has only five minutes of air! It's too deep for us to help you! Did anybody say, uh-oh? Oh, no, stay away, Bumper! Save yourself! Oh, what a buddy. He's trying to save us with a little boom click. Whoa. Bumper, was that you? I don't think so. Only one creature could do that. The loudest animal on Earth. A, a full-grown full bull sperm whale. whale. A direct hit from his boom click could knock down a small house. It totally stunned the colossal squid. He's bigger than an 18-wheeler truck. The biggest tooth predator in the history of planet Earth. A battle between a colossal squid and a bull sperm whale. A face-off between the largest eye and the biggest brain in the creature world. The sperm whale wins! Come on, let's go! Hang in there, Mom! We're heading to air! Are they? Whoa! Yes! She made it! Now that was a whale of a rescue. Deactivate! Let's get you out of this ghost net. <laughs> Looks like Bumper's happy to have his mom back. All right, here they are, the sperm whales. The biggest brained animals that ever lived. Who make the loudest sound of all animals. 
are the deepest air breathing divers, the eaters of giant and colossal squid, swimming free and in the wild. Snow runners. One final check of that foot, cutie patootie. Let me see. Yup, all better. Oh, I'm gonna miss you guys. I love his fit hairs. I know. Now that their feet are all healed up from that forest fire, we've gotta take them back to those warm, sunny Asian foothills. Living free and in the wild. Set a course for the Asian foothills, Jimmy. All mapped in, from North America to Nepal. Great. Steady driving, Jimmy. Remember, we've got precious cargo. <laughs> She's not kidding. These hispid hares are one of the world's most endangered mammals. There are only 100 of them left, if that. That's why we have to get them home safe and sound. No problem. Just one stop to pick up Chris and Martin and we're out of here. Pick up Chris and Martin? Where are they now? They said something about testing an improvement to their adventure sleds. Improvements? Oh, brothers. I wonder what that means. <laughs> Told you these rocket jets would take sledding to a new level. Woohoo! Oh. Ah. Oh, yeah! Way to lash on the jets, bro! This is awesome! Woohoo! Yeah! Jet blast! <laughs> Rightio, the Tortuga has landed. They're supposed to be somewhere around here. Well, I don't see them. Jimmy, we've got the brothers. Ooh. Jimmy, huh? let's go. Heading out. Hmm, it says these hispid hairs have short, kind of stubby feet for a hair. Yeah, hares and rabbits usually have long, springy legs, so they can move fast. Some hares can jump three meters in a single bound. Guys, what are you doing? What's with the springs? Oh, we're gonna get one last play session in with those hispid hares before they go. Yeah, if you're gonna play with hares, might as well have some boing. Hey, where'd they go? What? The hispids? They, they were right here. Well, unless you made them what? invisible, they're not here now. Look at this. Skid mark. That's the cage. It slid towards the door. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh, what? Uh-oh, the hispid hairs are gone. They must have slid out the door when we stopped. And now they're out there, in the snow. But they're not winter hairs. Yeah, they're built for warm weather, not cold, snowy weather. They can't survive a North American winter. We've, We've got to find them. them. Turn this ship around, Jay-Z. We're on a search and rescue mission now. Presto course change -o. Uh, did our crash landing knock them outside? I think so. Oh, this is our fault, bro. You had to go adventure sledding this morning, right? Well, you guys landed in the middle of our track. Could have called first. Could have been on time and ready. Oh. Let's just hope they're okay. I see tracks. They slid down the hill. Let's go. We'll be right back with those rabbits. There's the cage. Break. <laughs> Uh 
Uh-oh. <gasps> Whew, it's okay! Oh, or not. Well, that sled was good while it lasted. At least we found the hispids. Hey, guys, sorry about the mix-up. Yeah, we didn't mean to leave you behind. We... Martin, it's empty. What? <gasps> the cage wasn't locked. Oh. Tortuga HQ, come in. Chris, please tell us you found the hairs. The cage wasn't locked. The rabbits are gone. Uh, I think that's my fault. Things aren't really going our way today, are they? <gasps> Look! They went this way. Don't worry, we're still on their trail. Quick, let's go. Look, you can tell they're struggling out here in the deep snow. Oh, they're sinking down in the snow just as badly as we are. Whoa, now that's a creature built to handle the winter. A snowshoe hare. Amazing. He just walks right on top of the snow. He's a snow walker. Look at those huge feet. That's what keeps him from sinking in. Oh no, the fresh snow is burying the hispid tracks. Come on. We gotta hurry or we'll never find those hispids. Hispids! Hispids, where are you? Hispids! Where are you? Hispids, are you out there? Do you see the tracks? I can't see anything, except white. If we're having this much trouble in the deep stuff, imagine the little hispids. <gasps> Hey, buddy. Wow, if we could get around like that, it'd be so much easier to find those hairs. Even though he's a different kind, he'll help us figure out where his cousin, the hispid hare, might go. I've got the miniaturizer. Hey, let's see if he'll give us a ride. Miniaturize. Hey, where'd he go? He disappeared. Here, Snowshoe Hair! Where are you? Oh, we keep losing hairs today. Whoa! Avalanche! <laughs> there you are! Oh, that was a pretty good tumble you gave me. So I'll give you a good name. Avalanche! Hey, do you think you could help us out? We're looking for three lost hairs, and we need a ride. Whoa, these big feet sure would help. The way they spread out your weight so you don't sink in the snow. <laughs> if people had feet like this, our feet would be about 10 times bigger than they are. Yeah. Not only that, they're covered with fur even on the bottom. That makes their feet even bigger, keeps them warm in the snow, and gives them traction when they're running. So thanks for the ride, Avalanche. Just go where hairs go, and we just might be able to track down the hispids. We're hair back riding! Yeehaw! Guys, are you sure that's a good idea? I mean, riding a snowshoe hare? No one's ever done that before. We're fine. It's a little jostly. But at least we're on top of the snow. Ugh. I think a snowshoe hare suit might speed up this search. Come on! Mm. Where are we going? Oh! That's deep. It's all a balance of weight and foot size. Snowshoe hares are light with giant feet. Jimmy's feet are too small. Hey! I mean for snow walking. If your feet are bigger, like... the size of these pizza boxes, there's more snow underneath you to hold you up. You don't sink. Hmm. Unless you were really heavy. <laughs> then you'd need even bigger feet to hold up the extra weight. So in order to walk on the snow, you need big enough feet for your weight. Get it? Got, Got it. it. Now can we get out of the snow? <laughs> Let's get inventing. Snowshoe hair feet coming hey. up. Hey! Aw, my pizza's frozen. Whew! That ride really rattles the brain. Now let's see. Whoa, this is nice hair. It is a nice hair, all right. But do you see any others? 
Oh, yeah. I definitely see more than one hair. You do? How many hairs do you see? Millions. Millions and millions of hairs. Mm hmm? What? Oh, we're talking about different hairs. Oh, you're talking about the hispids, the hoppy kind of hair. And you're talking about the fur kind of hair. Yeah, I mean, this special winter coat is so dense and warm. Right, totally different than the summer coat, which is brown and much cooler for hot summers. Then as winter comes, the brown fur falls out and the white fur grows in. It's great camouflage against the snow. And these hairs are extra warm because they're hollow and they trap warm air inside each hair. But those hispid hairs don't live in a place that has snowy winters. So a hispid hair's hairs aren't like a snowshoe hair's hairs. And we're running out of time to find them. Whoa! What's up, Avalanche? <gasps> That's what's up! Goshawk! Go, Avalanche, go! Those are some powerful legs! Zero to 56 kilometers per hour in just a few seconds. And they still stay on top of the snow without sinking in. It's like a fucking Bronco ride. A hip-hopping hair ride. Woohoo! Look out! Whoa! Nice seeing, Avalanche. Goshawks, hawks in general, they're one of the snowshoe hare's worst nightmares. Uh, not exactly a sweet dream for a mini crab brother either. Whoa! Go, 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 go! He's gaining, he's gaining! Yes, we're heading to the safety zone. Hang on, Chris! You know, maybe this wasn't a great idea after all. <gasps> yeah. <sighs> or maybe it was. Look, a uh, hispid hair. Ah, like I said, it was a great idea. All hares seek shelter from weather and predators in dense thickets like this. Aviva, we've got a hispid, but we need those rabbit suits to get him back. A hispid? That's great. But I'm not done with the suit yet. Uh, but we need it to walk them through all this snow. Hey, I've got it. We've got basilisk power. Basilisk lizards have big feet to walk on squishy water. It's the same idea as the hares, who have big feet to walk on fluffy snow. Only one problem. There are no basilisk lizards around to activate your suits. Uh... Wait, I got it. Chocolate? Uh, I mean, aha, uh -huh, here we go. I saved the shed basilisk skin just for a time like this. Great! Activate basilisk power! Hop on, Hispid. Time to go. Hang on, pal. To the creature rescue! This is working great! It's cold! Oh, 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 cold! 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 Oh, 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 cold. <laughs> Was that a basilisk lizard pulling a sled with a hair in it? Nah. Oh. Cold! Oh, oh. Ah, ha, ha. Cold! 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 <gasps> His been delivery! <gasps> I'm heading back out. Do you have a snowshoe hair suit ready yet? Furry feet would be much warmer. Uh, not quite, but soon. Promise. Okay. I gotta head back out. Got you covered, CK. This'll warm you up. Oh, great. But better than nothing. Okay, I'm gone. Good luck! Go, Basilisk dude. Oh, that's it. You're hungry. Hey, and this willow thicket is full of prime winter hair food. Buds, bark, 
Its grasses, plants, and roots in the summer, buds and bark in the winter. Hmm, you know, if those hispid hares got hungry, they'd probably be looking for the same kind of food. Uh-oh. Uh, Chris? Hey, it's you! <laughs> hey, Chris, come in! Somebody need a ride? Oh, cold. Ha! <laughs> We're on a roll now! Yeah. <laughs> Only one more hispid left to find! Uh-oh, we've seen this before. Not a good sign. He's trying to blend in with the snow. But why? <gasps> A lynx. I'm sticking with you, Avalanche. Chris, go, 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 go. Save the hispid. What? Just leave you here with her? We're as well hidden as it gets. Besides, Avalanche knows what he's doing. We'll be fine. All right? Be careful, bro. You do know what you're doing, don't you? Snow Runner to Tartuga HQ, come in. Go, Snow Runner. I'm coming in with hispid number two. Hi. Okay, that was Chris Pratt in a basilisk suit. Looks like a creature rescue. Go, go Chris, go! Go, go Chris, go! go. go. Cold, cold! <laughs> Whoa, you gotta admire this hair hunting specialist. With that dense winter fur and those massive paws that keep her on top of the snow, just like you, Avalanche. She matches you feature for feature. She even spreads her toes with every step to make them even bigger, better snow feet. Oh, this is not good. Run, Avalanche, run! Look out, oh! Nice one, Woo. the snow diving technique. That bought us an extra stride or two. Yes, the home thicket, almost there. Go, 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 go! Ah! Ah! <gasps> you okay, Chris? No, I can't stand it anymore. I need winter feet. Um, well, I kind of switched gears. I'm making something even better for you. A lynx disc. I've made lots of cats so I can whip that one off in no time, much faster than the hare. I'm almost done, super close. You sure? Promise. Okay, I'm heading back out. I hope Martin and Avalanche were able to avoid that lynx. She's still right outside. Martin, see if you can get some lynx fur while you have the chance. You guys will need it when the lynx suit is done. Lynx suit, cool. <gasps> the last hispid. Wait, no, stop! He's not from here! No! I got the fur, but she's gonna get the hair. Well, I got the disc. It's done. Coming at ya! Activate Link's power! Hang on, his bed! I'm coming for ya! I gotta get there first! Oh man! He got the warm suit! <gasps> Aviva! Quick! We just need something, anything, to make me look like a snowshoe hare. Yes! I think I found something! Hey, Lynx! Over here! You should really stick to snowshoe hares, not endangered hispids. Ah! Whoa! Yeah! Nice one, dude! But what are you? You definitely got the better suit for this adventure! Gotcha. But don't worry, buddy. I'm a friendly lynx. Chris, I got him! We're good! Yeah! Chris? Brother! Shh! 
snow diving technique. Let's get out of here. That was a nice snow running rescue. Oh, yeah. And now this lizard's got to get somewhere warm. Mission accomplished. I'm sure glad we found you guys. We made some mistakes. Sorry about that. But we did our best to fix them. And now you're on your way home. Yeah, thanks partly to your winter adapted cousins, the snowshoe hares. Those snow runners, the hare, and the lynx are awesome. Speaking of snow runners, when are we picking up the guys? On our way back. They had something they wanted to do. It's right around that time of year, so enjoy the treats. Here you go. Carrots, anyone? Present for you. Bye, Avalanche. Thanks for the help. Go wild, wild, wild friends! Mystery of the weird looking walrus. Hey, didn't Aviva just fix that mana rider? Yeah, now it can go twice as fast. Woo! Ha, cut it out, bro! Weird-looking walrus! Check it out. The herd is doing something in the mud. And look at that blubbery little guy. I'm going to call him Blobby. And I'm going to find out why walruses look so weird. I just got to get in for a closer look. Turn around. You're about to get a look at a giant Pacific octopus. Huh? Oh! Uh, whoa! I can't see anything! Whoa! 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 Chris, hang on! I'm going down! Whoa! Oh. Hey, bro. Little help. Oh. Big brother to the rescue. Again. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> nice rescue, bro. Looks like the guys ran into a snag, Aviva. Uh, are your manta riders okay? I mean, are you guys okay? We're having a blast. Uh, just a little tangled up. You mean tentacled up? Giant Pacific tentacles can grow up to nine meters. That's as long as a fire truck. It's like an eight-arm arm wrestle. Come on, guys. I need some data here. When you're ready to find out more about the walrus's features, I'm ready to integrate them into your suits. I uh, can't hear you, Aviva. We have tentacles stuck in our ears. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this girl's definitely stuck on me. Spinning to the left. I'm free. Was free. You know, it takes the strength of 10 people to release the grip of an octopus the size of my head. Now that's a creature's superpower. Whoa! Uh, yeah, let's find her something to eat besides us. Just gotta access my creature pod. <gasps> they won't eat us, Martin. Octopus eat clams. I think I found some. Oh, now that's using your head. There you go. Okay, suction cups grab onto the shell. Tentacle muscles pull the shell apart. Then the octopus uses his beak to eat it. And then it wins a prize. A pretty pearl. Do you want to give it to Aviva for a present? Uh, no. Do you want it stuck up your nose? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> Isn't it cool that pearls are formed in a clam shell? Yup. They're made of sand. They can be, but it usually starts with a parasite. A little microscopic creature that gets inside the shell. What's that sticky substance? The clam protects itself by producing a kind of natural gluey stuff called nacre that hardens over a few years to make the pearl. Whoa, so you're telling me that a pearl necklace is actually a string of mummified parasites? Gross. More like awesome. Oh, I want a string of mummified parasites. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're out of that sticky situation, guys, time to get back to the walruses. I'm ready to do some inventing. 
Weird looking walrus, here we come! Wow, it's the famous Arctic Pearl. I hear it's worth a zillion dollars. That's the biggest pearl I've ever seen. Danita Donata. It's Zach Varmatek. Uh, we met at the Finding Your Inner Villain in 30 Days seminar. Yes, yes, aren't you the one who ate too many clams and then was sick under the table all night? No, I'm the world-renowned mega-genius robotics inventor. Now, I know you use live animals for your clothing line, and I just found a pearl I thought you might like. Like it? I love it! It'll be the crowning jewel for my new line of pearl-encrusted sweatpants. Can you get more? Well, if my calculations are correct, there's a huge untapped source of pearls under the Bering Sea, which will cost us nothing and make me, I mean us, millions. So, can you meet with me today? Maybe. Will you give me that big pearl to seal the deal? If I have to. You do? I'll be there as soon as I find my snakeskin belt. I think it's slithered under the couch. Ciao! Oh, I'm gonna be rich. Wait, I'm already rich. Oh, I'm gonna be really rich! <laughs> okay, I think we're onto something in the weird-looking walrus mystery. Whoa, that's one way to use those weird-looking tusks. Like sled runners to slide across the mucky ocean floor. Then the walrus shoots water into the sediment to break it up. She's looking for something in the mud. Hey, so is Blobby. Whoa, look at those whiskers go. Hey, Blobby, have your whiskers grown in yet? Whiskers, they have 450 of them. Give or take a couple. Whoa, their whiskers work like magic fingers in the mud. <laughs> you can't find things with nose hairs. <laughs> My controller! Chill, Jimmy. I made it waterproof. Pudding proof, too. See? Just like fingers, each whisker has muscles to move it. So, now we know that walruses use tusks and whiskers to search for something in the muck. But what is it? I know. I'll make a creature attachment for the creature power suits. And maybe you guys can dig in and find out. Hey, waste not, want not. Looks like there's a whole pile of clams right under my yacht. I couldn't be smarter. Ah, 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 or in more pain. I cut my finger in half. Zach Bart, Zach needs ointment. I don't mind giving Donita the Arctic Pearl to show her I mean business. Big business! Kim. What? Oh, no. Oh, hello, Donita. Zach, I'm on my way to collect my fabulous pearl, so you'd better have it ready for me. Uh-huh. Well, take your time. Uh, gotta go! Zach Bot! Jackpot! Find that pearl! What was that? Brace yourself, Martin. It's a walrus stampede! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, something sure spooked those walruses. But now they're back on track. Look, those whiskers have found something. <gasps> a clam. That's what they're looking for down here. Clams. Walruses eat clams too. But how do they get past the shell to the yummy part inside? Oh, I say she'll crush the shell, then eat it. She'll just swallow the thing whole. She'll use her tusk as a can opener. That's it. Walruses suck clams out of their shells with one giant slurp. 
Uh, sucking the clams out of there was my next guess. Sure, Jimmy. Blobby can't find his own clams yet, but he's trying to get a taste from his mom's. Aw, oh, too cute. This is great. Walruses feeding on clams has hardly ever been seen. I gotta get this on film. That's it. I can use the sealy thingies to find the Arctic Pearl. Then they can suck all the clams in the sea to get the rest of them. <laughs> How many can they eat in one sitting? Over 5,000! And they're still eating. Now we know why they're so blubbery. And why they look weird. To find food. Tusks drag through the mud. Whiskers feel for clams. Big-lipped mouths suck the clams out of shells. Ha! We figured out why walruses look so weird. Way to go, guys! I can replicate whiskers with guitar strings, combine it with a control feature for movement, and add them right into your creature power suits. Hey, Chris, we've got another mystery to solve. I think Zack Zackbots were just spying on us. Hey, stop! After them! The Manta Riders! They must have been destroyed in the walrus stampede. Yeesh! How many manta riders are you going to destroy in a week? Uh, can we tell you at the end of the week? <gasps> the Zackbots are getting away! We need walrus swimming power! Activate, Activate creature, creature power, power suits! suits. Creature Rescue! With my mind control helmet, I'll make the sealy thingies collect all the pearls in the sea, including the Arctic Pearl! Arctic Pearl? Arctic, Arctic Pearl? Pearl? Here it is! The priceless Arctic Pearl was stolen yesterday by what appeared to be an odd little girl. She's more than odd, crew! She's a Zackbot, which means Zack's up to no good. So that's what he's up to. Zack's hypnotizing them to use their tusks and whiskers to find clams. Then the conveyor belt is sending them up to the surface. He's got other walruses sucking them all open. So he can find the Arctic Pearl and all the pearls in the sea. He's force feeding them. He's got Blobby. We've got to stop Zack. But how? I got it. Let's pretend we're walruses and infiltrate the chain. Mark, we're wearing walrus suits. He'll never buy it. <gasps> oh, goody. I've got two more. Connect them to the others. Told you. Zack couldn't tell a walrus from a wombat. Eh, that's not it. Gross. Puny one. Keep sucking those clams, you mustached blobs. Chris, are you really hypnotized? No, we don't have walrus brains, so the skull caps won't work on us. But we gotta keep up the act till we figure out how to stop Zack. Be the walrus. Oh, I'm with you, bro. Ooh, ooh. Hey, a lot less burping and a lot more sucking clam seal thingies. Uh oh. Hello, Donita. Woo, you got here quickly. <laughs> My jet travels at the speed of style, darling. Where's my big pearl? Oh, you're so full of silly questions. And you're hiding something. What's going on, Zack? Ah, uh, it's a surprise. <laughs> I don't like surprises. But I like big pearls and big money, which you promised to make me. And you'll have both, thanks to the sealy thingies. Those are walruses. Ugh, whatever! Don't worry, Blobby. We're gonna save you and your mom. I've waited long enough. Give me the giant pearl, Zack. A deal's a deal. All right, all right. Here's the truth. The Blobby thingy stole it. 
I don't believe you. Ah, didn't think so. I'm not feeling so good. That last clam tasted like feet. I know, but we gotta keep it up until we figure out a way to save the walruses. I found the Arctic Pearl! Martin, you said that a little loud. Wait! That sounded like a wild rat. They must be around here someplace. I'll find them if it's the last thing I do! Or the next thing you do. Yeah, or the... What do you mean? They're the walruses who don't resemble walruses whatsoever! Ugh, get them! Hand over the Arctic Pearl, wild rat. Forget it. It belongs in the museum. It belongs to Donita. And walruses belong living free and in the wild. You stole the Arctic Pearl? I thought you found it. Well, my Zackbots found it in the Arctic Museum. <laughs> it's a funny story, really. You promised me Pearl, Zack. I want pearls now. And we need to make like a pearl and roll! Hey, get that pearl! Oops. Get, get it! it! I am so not impressed. Quick, Martin! With walrus power, we can find the pearl before they do. Guys, hang on! Jimmy's sending you the whisker attachment disc. Way to save the day, Aviva! Okay, if I were a walrus, I'd use my whiskers to feel in the mud. Sifting through with walrus whisker power. Gotta find that pearl. <gasps> Zack Watts, it's seven o'clock, Martin. I can't understand you, Chris. You've got the Arctic pearl in your mouth. <laughs> uh, Martin, you said that a little loud, too. Martin, go long. <laughs> got it. Swim, Martin. Hey, Zack Watts, is this what you want? Ha! Good walrus move, Martin! <sighs> Not good enough, Chris! Help! Over here! Hang on, bro. I've got an idea that might work. All I need now is a clam. But haven't you eaten enough? Ha! Found one! An octopus can't resist a tasty clam. Tentacles to, to the, the creature, creature rescue. rescue! Oh, that's gonna cost me. The herd's in trouble, Chris. After 13 minutes without air, they're becoming really weak. And after 20, they drown. It's been 14 minutes. But this thing's a maze of numbers and buttons. It'll take forever to dismantle it. We have no choice. Let's give Zack the pearl so the herd can breathe. Wait a second, guys. Zack and I spent a summer together at science camp. Maybe I can crack the code. Not so fast, little Miss Smarty Pants. Zack's favorite number is 22. He has six toes on his left foot, eats four radish sandwiches a day, his favorite color is chartreuse, and his favorite person is himself. Oh, you think you're so smart, smarty pants? Well, I've got other seal thingies up my sleeve. <laughs> yeah, Wait, you go, did it! Eva. Breathe, walrus buddies, breathe! Now we've got to save Blobby. One Arctic Pearl coming up, Donita. Thanks to my Insta-Freeze device, they're not going anywhere. Yeah. I slow lockdown. Let's see them get out of this one. You're trapped, wild rats, and I've got the baby seal thingy. Give me the pearl! <laughs> oh, we've only got 20 seconds left of air. And this ice, it's 20 centimeters thick. We can't break through it. 
That's big enough to hold a two and a half ton truck. <laughs> You're the best bro I ever had, Martin. Ten seconds, nine, eight. <sighs> Back at you, Chris. Four, three. Unbelievable! Ice smashing heads. They're free. Woo! <laughs> Lucky for us, a creature that finds its food under the ice has a built-in helmet that helps it bust right back after lunch. Ah, uh, Big Whoop, I've still got the tubby baby. Give me the pearl. Uh, Zach, you really don't want to be holding Blobby right now. He's been eating clams all day. Plus, it's not a good idea to get between a wild animal mom and her baby. <laughs> Look at the time. I better make like a pearl and roll. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute. Uh, looks like Blobby and his mom are going back to where they belong. Take care, little buddy. And the Arctic Pearl will be back where it belongs, too. And everything's back to normal in the Bering Sea. And mystery solved. Now we know why walruses look so weird. Blubbery bodies to keep the warm and cold water where their food lives. Giant tusks that drag along the sea bottom. Cool whiskers to find clams in the muck. Big, powerful lips to suck the clam into their mouths. And even an ice-bashing head to get back through the ice when they're done with dinner. Walruses look the way they do because of where they live, what they eat, and how they get it. And Jimmy looks the way he does because of what he eats and how he gets it. <laughs> <laughs>